Hey guys, it's your handy homegirl Danny, and welcome back to Danny Did It. This is a DIY channel dedicated exclusively to showing you how to do just about any and everything yourself. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use this Empire Protractor um, angle finder when you're trying to do miter cuts for your quarter round after installing your flooring. So keep watching. have been following my channel now for a few videos or quite some time and you know I'm working on a huge home project renovation right now I am currently in the kitchen you can see the doors on the cabinets behind me taken off because I'm currently painting those as well um, and I've already laid the floor down here in the kitchen there was tile put down and I put some brand new LVP down on the flooring it looks beautiful but now it's time to lay the quarter round. So let me show you and excuse the mess because I am working. But you can see here that there is a nice bay-ish kind of window. I guess it's called a bay window. Um, so there's, there's some funky corners going on here, right? And we need to know exactly what those angles are so that we can cut the proper, <laughs> the proper miter angles and so I'm going to be doing that with my protractor angle finder so let's just get right into it okay so first of all whether you're a DIYer or a pro contractor that does a lot of finishing carpentry and a lot of finishing work you absolutely need one of these bad boys so this um, protractor um, measures outside angles as well as inside angles so we're gonna go ahead and just put this right up against the angle here and figure out what it is. So you just wanna open it up. And let me do that again. So I always like to start it off at the 90 degree. And this is where it's going to show you the angle. So it's there on 90. So I push it, the piece right here, up into the corner, and lay it out. So the good thing about this is it's gonna stay put. It's pretty, it's pretty solid enough that I can move it and then still be able to read the angle. So this one, and again, we're reading that inside number here. And it looks to be between the 40 and the 50, making it 45. So we do know when we're doing quarter round that whatever the measure of the angle is, we need to cut that in half so that the two pieces will meet. So being that this is 45, then I'm going to make my miter cuts at 22 and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna do 22 and a half for that. And let me show you what that looks like once they meet up. Okay, and that's how we did the inside. So here we have an outside piece. And don't worry about this flooring here because I'm using three quarters of an inch um, shoe molding. So it will definitely cover up the space. But again, we've got a outside corner here. Again, always starting in it in this position. I'll sit it up against the wall. That right side, I'm pushing it flush up against. And then I'm gonna pull this piece all the way over as well, making sure that it is aligned right there on that corner. Nice and good. And I'm gonna take it off so I can read the angle. And this is measuring at 50. So again, we know that whatever the angle measures, we cut that in half so that we can make the miter meet. So what's half of 50? 25. So I'm going to do 25 and a 25 to meet and have a perfect miter. Let me show you. 
Listen, only in a perfect world will every corner measure to be exact 45 degree cuts and it'd be perfect, right? Only in a perfect world, but we know we don't live in a perfect world. So make sure, I mean, the damn thing is like six bucks. Make sure you grab one. Make sure you taking an accurate measure of each angle before you cut your cord around because you don't want no janky, wonky, open miter cuts and you got to fill it in with caulk and all of that. You want a nice, precise cut every single time. And with that Empire Protractor Angler is how you're going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I thank you always so much for staying with me and uh, recommending my videos, sharing it, dropping me comments. You guys have been showing me so much love and I appreciate it. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Just remember if Danny did it, y'all could do it too. I will see y'all. Peace.